6.2% body fat, 48.7% muscle, weighed in at 145 pounds. So if we look, actually weight's been going up, right? I just started back cardio. I explained in this video, I had some chest pains. So I uh, was deloading, essentially I deloaded a lot, took time off from the gym a lot more, stopped, stopped walking too, just to make sure my body wasn't in as much of a deficit to hold on as much muscle mass as possible. But as you see, weight's been coming up. 144.3 I was dropping all the way up until then but I took off cardio for a few weeks so I was still losing but that kind of caught up to me all right I'm still losing still losing you know drop dropping body fat here same body fat dropping about 6.6 .6 to 6.4 so down 0.2 up 0.1 muscle and then down 0.2 again up 0.1% muscle then the same but I'm weighing 0.4 pounds heavier and then so far this week I've been weighing 0.3 pounds heavier every day at 145, but yet yeah, still the same. So that's actually a good sign. Weighing heavier, but the same body, you know, reading. That's actually a good sign. That's actually a really good sign. And like the main thing is I, I'm looking just as lean, if not leaner. So that's a, that's a good thing. But you know, uh, I explained too how basically in this video or this vlog, I pop it up basically how. Don't get so bogged down in the numbers, basically since the, the weight's coming up, coming up, coming up. How basically the cardio I'm doing now, like basically just the, it just comes from the momentum of me not doing all that cardio, taking time off from the gym. Now I gotta build that momentum back up. I'm not gonna get more into it than that, just watch that video um, if you want to get more in depth on what I'm talking about there. All right, out the house pretty quick today. I gotta go take care of some tax stuff for my business. So gonna do that. And then we'll come back home and then kind of get back working on like uh, the regular routine of stuff. Get that KG Clothing Co merch, second link in bio. Shop my other two clothing brands at the third link in bio. They're all in the same links, but second link, just take your different pages on the website. Shop that merch. Got the Black Ninja joggers on too. Oh, we got a big puddle on some part right here. video is now done I just got back from the park I did a 1.1 mile loop around walk as I'm up to you know back at my 28 minutes 28 minutes of walking every day so what I've been up to I didn't have my camera with me had at home charging uh, just running a bunch of errands somebody wanted to buy a hat from me so did the hat and took that to them as well then hit the park now I'm back uh, so now I'm about to get into my third meal of the day. I'll show y'all what I'm having. All right, so first thing I crack into with this meal is going to be three grams of some organic dolts here. Now this thing is just an incredible freaking superfood, man. Look how much, look, just look at these nutrients. And just for, for 20 calories, so that's just for uh, seven grams. I'm doing three grams, so I'm getting about half of that stuff there, which is absolutely amazing. So get my sea vegetables in, just three grams again, but it's getting so much nutrients in there, it's absolutely amazing. 14 grams of these organic hemp seed hearts. Mainly I do this for uh, iron source. As you see, ton of vitamins and nutrients there. 10% iron for just what I did there, 14 grams. And then six grams of these lightly salted pistachios. Then I also have 0.25 servings of this non-GMO pink Himalayan sea salt, or pink Himalayan salt inside the hemp there to get a little bit extra sodium in uh, as I do that you know this is generally my first fat hit of the day 
Um, unless I'm having meats with fat in them, like ground beef, ground bison, something like that. And then I'll have that at my second meal. I'm gonna have my meat still that day, so that'd be the first per, uh, fat source hit for the day. But generally, this is the, the biggest fat hit source, the, the first and the biggest of the day. It's always the biggest first one of the day. Uh, my last meal has the most fats in it, but this is generally where I introduce fats in for the first time during the day. Like I said, unless I have other meats with fat in them. Um, uh, then I'm going to get into some carbs and the protein source shell when I'm having. All right, next thing is going to be the carbs. So I have one of these green Anjoy or however you pronounce that pears. Taste test video there. Uh, I believe this one is either a honey crisp or a gala. So I just grabbed three bags of apples of the day. Fuji, which is my favorite, a gala, and then a honey crisp. And I just dumped them all in the bin in the refrigerator. So I just kind of pick them at random whenever I get what I get. And then 26 grams of these cotton candy grapes not organic no, they're actually not carrying the organic ones this time for whatever reason but um you know taking advantage of these while they are around and then i'll show you all the protein source after i enjoy this i want to shout out this guy's channel real quick i found it recently um i've been digging into a ton of his videos joseph rodriguez create a uh, mind learning success type stuff i absolutely love it i'm super into stuff like that but really enjoying his channel here recently uh, so for what I do for this meal adds up to carb sources, 200 calories. So the grapes, the apple and pear add up to 200 calories. That's why I lock myself for this meal, 200 calories of carbs and basically fruit. It's always fruit. All right, protein source for this meal is going to be 200 grams, which is going to come out of 200, uh, 200, give me 200 grams of this Oikos Greek yogurt, which is going to come out of 20 grams of protein. Uh, generally again, do the or another organic brand but they stopped selling those in my town so i have to wait till i go either to either town on the other side of me and i ran out and i went to need to go to the grocery store so i went ahead instead of making a whole i don't want to make a whole trip just for yogurt so uh just get the oikos or when the walmart has the for yeah non-gmo i'll go with that they were out of that as well so oikos is just the next one i go with non-fat plain again the healthiest would be you know zero got zero percent fat here so like a pure, uh, almost a pure protein source. You got a little bit of carbs in there though. All right, and I'm actually out of a ton of herbs and supplements. So the only two I have uh, right now to take are glucosamine sulfate and resveratrol. Again, next time I make a trip over to Florence, but I'll be restocking. If you want to see it basically with all the herbs I take, supplements I take, uh, stuff like that in this video here. And I've actually added new ones since that video. So before long, I'll actually be going back and making a new video, updating all the new stuff I'm taking as well. I don't think resveratrol is in that one or even the glucosamine so there's a couple new ones for you and i always take my herbs and supplements with this meal just for the fact of you know some things are more fat some things are only fat soluble vitamins and stuff like that so i just do it with the fat meal with a meal where i have my fat in it just in case some of these things you know absorb easier or absorb best you know with fats workout updates so since the last thing about the day i've actually started up in workout volume again since my chest is completely healed pop up that video you know how i figured out the problem with that how i healed it um so starting to slowly ramp back up my workout volume uh introduce back in arms just ramping everything up but then the main thing is uh essentially don't let good stop you from being great like okay look at me myself here um you know i could easily stop and i am 100 percent like or not i wouldn't say 100 percent, but pretty much i'm super 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 satisfied with how i look like i literally look in the mirror i'm like freaking i love the way my body i love the way i look you know what i mean 100 percent love the way i look but i do want to get a little bit leaner i want to make it a little bit better it's weird it's a weird state because like it's like I'm 100% satisfied, but at the same time, I want to be a little bit leaner. I'm not quite to where I want to be lean this wise. So I could easily just be complacent here. Oh man, I look amazing. I love the way I look and just try to maintain it, fall off here or whatever. But it's like, you're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. You never stay in the same spot. So, and it's like, I'm not reaching my true potential if I just stop at good you know what i'm saying a lot of people get comfortable good okay nah, that's good enough that's good enough. you know i'm good now but like they get complacent and comfortable in that good goodness of being good at a thing or looking good or whatever it is and then they stop 
pursuing to get better, to reach greatness. They, they let good stop them from being great. And everybody can, you know, have certain goals and all, but I mean, I'm trying to be the greatest I can be. So that doesn't just apply to physical. That applies to physical, mental, businesses, art. Just the more broadening out my reach, essentially growing my consciousness, growing my Taurus, my energy field, just expanding myself as much as I possibly can. And when I say myself, like I said, just my Taurus, that's like an energy field. I don't just mean my body, you know what I'm saying? I mean like my spirit, me, you know what I'm saying? My soul, me, like growing, expanding that energy field as far as possible and then expanding my body as far as possible. Just, just maximizing myself, man. Being my greatest. I think it's like an old Chinese or Japanese saying, it's like you're only as healthy as your spine is. So, you know, I mean, obviously I want everything healthy. I hope y'all do too, but definitely take care of your spine. 
decompress, decompress, decompress. Even if you don't lift, you need to be decompressing. I'm not sure if my camera's gonna really pick up the stars or anything, man, but it is beautiful stars out tonight. Super, super, super clear skies. The next few days are gonna be super sunny. I think around the 60s or so, so definitely gonna be getting some, uh, some laying out in. Get some good natural vitamin D from the sun, my son. Pop up my vitamin D video for y'all to check out. I'm gonna get a uh, shot here, see if I can get a shot and show some of the stars. I'm about to get into my post-workout meal. It's actually fast, so like a lot of pros, they'll do it. Oh, really? Yeah, like they'll, uh... oh my goodness, that would've been an overkill if that guy wouldn't have just beat that guy down. <laughs>